Hey folks, Philly Boy J here, and today I am going to show you guys how I make my Italian dressing pasta salad. So let's talk about the ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need tricolor rotini noodles. You can use regular rotini noodles if you want. You're going to need salt for the pasta, seasonings, and grated Parmesan cheese. I love to use grated Parmesan cheese and Italian pasta salad. Feel free to use fresh Parmesan cheese or whatever kind of cheese you want. And you're obviously going to need the main ingredient which is the Italian dressing. I'm using zesty Italian dressing. You're also going to need some more ingredients. The vegetables! So make sure you have fresh broccoli, sliced black olives that come in the can. You can find that at your local supermarket. You're going to need tomatoes. I'm using grape tomatoes. You're going to need a cucumber and a red onion. So make sure you have all those ingredients. You're going to need them for this recipe. <laughs> the first step and thing that you're going to do is get a large size pot. You're going to fill it with cold water and then you're going to add the salt. <laughs> Look at me actually stirring the salt in. <laughs> you're gonna place the pot of water over high heat and right before it comes to a rolling boil, you're gonna add the pasta and stir it in really well. You don't wanna add the pasta when it comes to a rolling boil because that hot water gonna pop all over the place and you don't want that, okay? So give the pasta a nice stir and you're only going to boil you it until it's al dente for about 10 minutes. Then you're going to remove it and you're going to drain the water and make sure you remove it from that hot water immediately or else you're gonna have some bloated, fat, soggy pasta and you do not want that. That happened to me one time. I was making some salad boil the pasta, cut it off, and left it in the pot of hot water, on the phone talking to the homie about sports. And that pasta was so soggy. It was a hot mess. So give it a nice rinse and remove it immediately. You rinse it to speed up the cooling process. Don't nobody got time to wait a half an hour for pasta to cool off. <laughs> and that stops it from continuing to cook. Now what you're going to do is you're going to remove the skin from your cucumber. You're going to slice the cucumber in half. I didn't show that on camera. My fault. I'm so sorry. And you're going to remove the seeds. If you like the seeds, you can leave them in. I don't. So I'm going to discard them. You're going to turn the cucumber over. And you're going to slice it three times into four skinny sticks so slice it lengthwise three times and then slice it widthwise into whatever size shapes you like your cucumbers okay so slice and chop those cucumbers up and then you're going to place them in a bowl get them off the cutting board because we got to make room for the broccoli the broccoli and the onions so with the broccoli, what you're going to do is remove the stalk. That's that big piece right there. Remove the stalk. Just like that. That's a big stalk there. Mm. Then what you're going to do is you're going to break the broccoli pieces into broccoli florets. That broccoli looks so nice and fresh and green. Mmm. And then you're going to slice the branch or stalk again. What do they actually call them? A branch? A stalk? A stem? It's all the same, right? <laughs> then you're going to slice the broccoli in half. You want them to be as small as possible. But make sure you remove the stalk. Last thing you want to do is bite into salad and have to chew on those tough stalks. You don't want that. 
Then you're going to slice the onion. I'm going to be using a red onion, as I said earlier in the video. And the reason that I use a red onion is for decoration purposes. I'm superficial. And I want my salad to look nice and colorful and pretty. But you can use whatever onion you have on hand. There's no big deal. So slice your onion into small pieces like that there. And then you're going to slice your grape tomatoes into small pieces as well. I usually slice them into pieces of three, but I'm just slicing them in half today. <laughs> so slice them up like that. And that's pretty much it guys. You're done with the chopping, peeling, and slicing process of the vegetables. Now it's time to combine everything. This is the fun part. So make sure you have your dressing, your chopped vegetables, your seasonings, and your grated Parmesan cheese. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your dressing and you're going to add the seasoning to it. You guys know whenever I make salad, I always add the seasoning to the dressing just to make sure that the seasoning is spread all throughout the salad. Then you're going to add a little of the Parmesan cheese. Save the rest for the top. Now I was only working with a spoon on this particular day. I want you guys to use a whisk. Okay, so whisk everything in really well. Make sure it's well blended. Because if you don't use a whisk, you're going to be left with little lumps like that. But it don't matter because I'm going to get them lumps out. <laughs> Just like that, see? I got them on out of there. Now you're going to add your chopped vegetables, your broccoli, black olives, Grape tomatoes, red onions, cucumbers. Did I miss anything? Or did I say anything twice? I don't know. It don't matter. Just add all your vegetables <laughs> to the dressing and stir it in. Make sure they're fully coated and saturated in that Italian dressing. And look at that. It just looks so colorful. All those colors. Side it looked like springtime. And this is what I love about Italian dressing pasta salad is there's no limit to how many vegetables you can use. You can add whatever vegetables you like. So feel free to customize this recipe to your liking. But yeah, this this salad is just so versatile. So versatile. You can add blocks of cheese little pieces of pepperoni you can add anything to it not anything but anything you know what I mean now you're gonna add the pasta and that's the last step give it a nice stir make sure everything is well blended very nicely stir it in really well just like that and there you have your Italian dressing pasta salad guys this pasta salad is amazing it is absolutely delicious so i want you guys to give it a shot take it to your family barbecue cookout a party or event where you think you may want to bring a salad to and you are going to enjoy it i'm going to transfer the salad from the mixing bowl to the serving bowl just like that For the full recipe, visit phillyjcooking.com. Okay, there you'll find the exact measurements, detailed instructions, and any additional information you need to know regarding this Italian dressing, pasta salad recipe. Later.